Yeah, everyone, and welcome back to Nemoria. Uh, we beat the goblins in the last episode, and we got eight nomads all in, safe and sound, and assigned to new jobs. So we have more blacksmiths now. Hopefully we can uh, expedite the building of these traps. And I'm sure all my engineers are just passed out right now, otherwise they'd be resetting them. Yeah. Most everybody is sleeping right now. We also got some good work done on our wall in the last episode, which we are still doing now. Granite wall. What? Did I derp? I must have. We want basalt walls. Anyway, with the goblin problems we've been having lately, I've decided we need a more stable way to protect our lovely livestock. And to that end, I have had an idea. Honestly, we could even do it for a... Uh, like the farm crops as well to protect gnomes. It's something we could do, which is surrounding them with walls and then, you know, having the doors so that people could run in there and, you know, hide at least for a while from the goblins. If the goblins can't get into our livestock, then they certainly can't kill them. So we're going to start building walls. We could do, let's just do granite for the uh, sake of doing something different. And then we can uh, put the doors in when the walls are done. Obviously over here we're going to need to remove this ramp. And we're going to just have to wall in. Kind of. The whole thing. Because everything is touching. But that's no problem for emus at all. So we can build more granite walls oh yeah that torch is gonna be a problem we'll just build around it and hopefully this will allow us to uh, better protect our animals Yeah, the yaks are going to be the biggest problem. I wish I could just remove this strip of farm, but you can't do that without removing the entire designation of the farm. And I really hope that my uh, farmers get to the whole uh, harvesting thing soon. Are they in the mushroom farm? Get to the wheat farm. Immediately. I always forget that that mushroom farm even exists. Oh good, okay, maybe our yaks won't starve now. So yeah, if I remove the designation, I'll remove the entire designation. And I don't really want to do that. Although, honestly, I probably could. Let's just do that. Alright, and then we will farm That's really awkward, but that's a cotton farm. 
And then, um, I don't even think we can, yeah, because none of the strawberries have been picked. But that might mean that we can just forage them. It does mean that. So let's just forage them up. And then we should be able to build our furniture, or our furniture, our wall. I saw the word furniture and then I said it out loud and I was just like, furniture? That's not what I wanted. Alright, we have the torch problem again, but that's fine. We build around it. Now that I think about it, I forgot the door. <laughs> There's where the doors will be. Um, yeah, just uh, cancel all that. Get those cotton, because that's fine, but then go back to the wheat. We'll harvest these when we can. Um, I'm not too worried about it. We've been able to trade for a lot of food. We can always run around to the other areas and get more food from the trees that are just around. Alright. A merchant! Wonderful. Enjoy your walk down the hallway of death. Don't worry though, none of those traps should trigger. I didn't want to cancel building that wall either. Why is that emu running around? Their trough's almost empty. What? It's purple. Do I need more ranchers? Probably. Ugh. Don't want to get rid of the people who are really good at what they do. Okay. Yeah, my alpacas kind of live in darkness now. But they are safe in the darkness. So that'll keep, hopefully, them safe from uh, enemy attacks. Oh, we had a merchant, that's right. Merchant, merchant, merchant. As usual, you've come with the best of logs, and we wish to trade for them. And for them, we will trade. Alright, we just need 21 more. How many um, seeds do we have? We have so many seeds. Those emus should not be hungry. You have 21 yak bones. There you go. 
two fine pieces of jewelry and some bones that you can go home and give your people. sun has risen. How wonderful. Tis the third day of winter. I like how we don't even really need to trade for wood at this point. We just do. Alright, let's get our orders for the doors in. And once we have like a really good Thing out here we can even put traps in front of them as kind of like a last ditch effort all right we did get two of the traps in so that's pretty good where do I have a bunch of alpacas running free oh they're getting wheat huh probably That will make it more difficult for them when they need to go out and get wheat. Alright, I noticed that we're nearly out of marble. That's not good as I want a bunch of stuff made out of marble. Where'd we get our marble from? Over here? Yeah. Mine out a bunch of stuff. And you can remove these ramps as well. I do wish you could just mine them out like with everything else. And there's some coal too. Might as well get that while you're at it. That's right, I forgot. We need to get like down to here before we really have a ton of marble just everywhere. Actually, is there even any marble here? I'm not sure. Where'd we find it? Not a lot of granite, but where did we find marble? Because I really like the look of marble. What's this? Granite. Marble. Looks like even just one more layer down, we might have a really good chance of getting a lot of marble. So let's go one more floor down. It'll take a while because I've given them this monstrosity, but I think it's mostly granite. Oh no, there's, there's a marble wall here. Good. Okay, we're going to increase the amount of marble we have. Since we are running so low, let's just create a stock for that. Tracked items, new one for marble. Good stone, raw stone, marble. Oh gosh, we have zero gems right now. But that's because I just have the jeweler working on repeat. So as soon as we get more, he'll make more. explain why our marble tables are being so difficult for this. We just need more marble. We're also getting a lot of granite though. Alright. I also want to increase this to, let's say, seven. 
Just because we're actually using our gunman now. Alright, I see a door that's there. It's not being built. It's probably supposed to go here. But yes, I know that it's annoying that, uh, it's a purple for people to have to go in and out the doors, but it'll be really helpful if the goblins get in again. We can just nip it right in the bud and be like, no, you're not getting our livestock. We must protect it, for it is valuable to us. But like, even these guys were running out of food. And they should not be. We have so many seeds. They guys have ten. And you guys have zero. That's problematic. Okay, good. We're working on it, apparently. Ooh, another one of my uh, traps came in. Awesome. I love it when we're making progress. Why? Oh, so apparently they can access it from over there. I, I didn't know that they could. Watch, they won't be able to make them all though and I'll end up with a problem. That always seems to happen. I can't wait till we're high enough off the ground that they have to rely on scaffolding so I know what they're up to. It'd be really nice. How are my blacksmiths doing? It's a lot of red things. It just means their stockpiles are full. Can we move stuff? And this poor guy's training by himself. Oh yeah, we never assigned rooms to people. And I totally forgot because of the goblin thing. Huh, it appears that they assigned rooms to themselves. Cool. Everyone has rooms. How many personal quarters do we still have? Two. Three. We still have three. But yeah, we definitely just need to harvest all the wheat we can. I wish that it were a little easier than that, but it isn't. And we have six farmers to do it, so hopefully it will all be good. I'm still like, should I take cooking and brewing off there? Because we do have the cooks for that. still need those floors to come in too. Let me guess, this job can't be, f you can't find a path, right? That'd be my guess. An emu has been born. How wonderful. The birth of a new emu. What? Can you even build scaffolding over a ramp? Yeah, my guess would be no. 
So let's remove the ramp. And I will come back in a minute or two because my menus are pretty slow at this. To the salt wall. Right there. Alright, good. They're both about to be built. Oh, Jesus, okay. Hopefully once this is up there, they will be able to find path. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, success. That looks normal. I'm like, oh my god, which way is right? Alrighty, we should now be able to build that scaffolding. Because I never want to have to build scaffolding on the other side of the wall again. No goblins are cheating their way into my kingdom through my wonderful wall that I've been working on with my gnomes for years of the gnomes' lives. Not of my life, just of the gnomes' lives. Because they're getting up here. And eventually I'm going to need scaffolding, I know. Might as well just build some now. Might as well build like a really tall one. It won't hurt to have one. Alright, well there we go. We got the fences around everything. That's great. We're out of drinks again, though. That's not good. we just need more statues everywhere to increase the worth of our great hall our great and illustrious hall a skeleton military to the skeleton hurry before he kills this person the woodcutter who I don't know what he was doing down in the dungeons but was down there what job can't you find a path to now? That's fine. I do wish you could click on this one to figure out what they can't find a path for. It's not the scaffolding. not this, they can find a path for that. Is it this one? For some reason, yes it is. Let's cancel this job. We should be able to find a path to that. From here, this way. That's not at all what I told you to do. No.
that one, for some reason, has no path. Yeah, that's how you're supposed to do it. That's how you've been supposed to do it the whole time. Why? I don't understand. Take all of that out. That's what I want. Because it's interfering with my wall building. Nothing should interfere with my wall building. Who dropped a wheat right there? Who did it? Well, at least now it's being put in a trough. And we have more marble, so our mining must have gone well. Or at least well enough. Okay. And we'll be sure to get torches down right away. Because we know that skeletons can and do spawn down here. What is this? It's granite. I think. Yeah, it is. Oh boy, I was hoping for marble. We know there's marble over there, though, by the uh, chasms. However, our builders are quite busy at the moment with the wall to be immediately building floors over them. Oh boy, we do have drinks again. And we have one whole wheat. Look at this guy, passed out on the job. There's Burr. Got another trap in. We got three more traps in. Still not these two though. Look at that. Those blade traps are just never gonna happen. Alright. You guys didn't do everything I told you to do. Oh no. I was literally almost done with the episode, too. It always happens that way. <sighs> Where'd we go back to? Not really sure. We had the marble stuff already in our stocks. Um, don't think we killed the skeletons. We didn't have the orders for any of the new statues. Oh well, we can do that again next time. I'm going to call this episode of Nemoria here. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm the Purple Pegasus, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!